In this video, I'm going to be asking the question and discussing what would have happened if the Capitol had won the second rebellion in the Hunger Games. Just a spoiler warning to those who have not currently read Catching Fire or Mockingjay. So at the end of Catching Fire, the Capitol destroys District 12. Only about a couple hundred end up surviving thanks to a relief effort by District 13. This is followed by the continued efforts of the Second Rebellion by District 13 and ultimately ends in the defeat of the Capitol in the end of both President Snow and President Coyne. But what happened if this was flipped? What happened if President Snow had ended up winning? I know there are lots of theories about what would have happened if President Coyne ended up winning and continued on with the Capitol Hunger Games. But what if the Capitol ended up winning and what would have happened from there? I know it would have been a scenario that would have been extremely hard to actually happen since the districts and District 13 with their nuclear arsenal were so strong, but it is something that I think would be interesting to discuss. My first question would be, what would happen to the Hunger Games after this point? Obviously, the 75th Hunger Games was a failure, so you go on to the 76th after the rebellion happened and there obviously have to be crackdowns of some sort. The first but unlikely scenario that I think would come out of this is that they would just cancel the Hunger Games altogether. I don't think this would happen because in this scenario, I think that they would try to twist it on the capital citizens to make them angry. And if they were angry, they would try to bring the Hunger Games back to its original purpose, which is to punish the districts. But I also think since Snow was the one that made the changes to the Hunger Games to make them interesting in the first place, I don't think he would want to return them to what they were before the first rebellion or right after the first rebellion where it was boring and no one even wanted to watch it in the first place. There would have to be some sort of change in the first place because District 12 is all but wiped out so you're down to 11 districts so two from each district you're only going to have 22 citizens so it's not going to be as interesting for the capital citizens to watch in that case. And it, it's generally agreed from discourse from theories that I've read that it would be impossible for the capital to ever annex District 13. So them putting District 13 citizens in the game would basically be impossible because of their nuclear arsenal. That's why they never took full force and annexed them after the first rebellion because it was basically impossible. They had the upper hand and if they tried to, they could have just been completely obliterated by District 13. You also have to ensure that what happened in the first place where the capital citizens started almost celebrity worshipping the tributes which then gave them a positive view of the districts over time does not happen again. So you'd have to find some way to disconnect the tributes from the district after that thing happened. I would say the most likely thing to happen would be to move the victors villages from the districts to the capital and to force the victors of the games to become capital citizens and live in the capital in the victors villages. In this way, they can still be seen as celebrities to the citizens of the capital, but yet they aren't in the districts giving hope to the districts at that point. I just don't know how they would handle the problem of the two tributes that would be missing from the obliteration of District 12 unless they just tried to rebuild District 12 in the first place. But they didn't try to rebuild District 13. So that leads me to think that they wouldn't do anything at all and would just leave it at 22 tributes even though it would lead to a faster and less interesting game. But that could be a good thing because then the capital citizens wouldn't be as interested in it. Though it sort of defeats the whole purpose of the punishment because no one's watching it. The opposite way is to try to compromise with the citizens of the districts to ensure that what happens does not happen again. It would have to be a compromise of some sort, like, since there are rebels in the capital, we are now going to start reaping two citizens from the capital. Then it makes the districts happy because then it feels like it's all equal across the table, that the district's being reaped, the capital's being reaped, and they all have to worry about their children being reaped in some form or fashion. I would also say they would probably start some sort of tour similar to the victory tour with the remaining victors that they would have kept alive, like maybe PETA if they had won the second rebellion to sort of like promote unity across the districts but in a way that's under the capital to calm them down rather than being unity in the districts. They would likely want to return to the status quo that it was before the 74th Hunger Games and the Berries even took place. I don't see a scenario where Katniss negotiates with President Snow to keep herself alive and him alive. I just don't think that that would be possible even with the anger 
that was caused by District 13 and Coin killing Prim. The only negotiations I could see that she could have with Snow in the first place is maybe if they just changed the terms of the Hunger Games altogether to satisfy both parties, such as changing it from children being reaped to adults being reaped, and also reaping people from the capital to make it seem more equal, as I mentioned earlier with the change that I think that they would possibly make. There would also possibly be an end of the career districts because I don't think the capital likes districts making a game out of the Hunger Games because it then takes out the punishment aspect that they clearly want to be straight at the center as that was the entire purpose of Battle of the Songbirds and Snakes. If they wanted the 75th Hunger Games to go on, I think they would have clearly stated that in Mockingjay. I don't think they're going to try to do a redo of the 75th. I think they would go straight to the 76th afterwards just to say this happened let's forget about it let's move on just like snow wanted everyone to forget about lucy gray after the 10th hunger games unless he just wanted to go full dr gall and say there will be no victor from now on but i don't think that would be a satisfying thing that anyone would watch he's the one that advocated for no one will watch this if there's no winner also at that point i would say there probably be a revolving door of game makers because he does not want to keep a singular game maker in power for too long because it risks the thing that happened with Plutarch happening again and again and again where the capital tries to work with the districts in order to stop the Hunger Games from happening in the first place. President Snow knows that the whole thing is fragile. That's why the berries received such a harsh pushback from him. So he'd have to be careful and make the decisions to ensure that what goes on from that point forward does not end up happening again. I can throw out all the theories in the world of what would happen if the capital had won the second rebellion, but what do you think? Let me know in the comment section. This is all theories. I'd like to hear from you. I know this is an abrupt end and this video probably sounded awful, but thanks for watching.